there and welcome. My name is Jim and today we are going to be starting a brand new uh, farm on Stardew Valley. Uh, there are some visual mods on, nothing game altering, uh, just visual. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, what farm should we choose? Maybe the hilltop farm? Alright, let's get into it. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. 20 years later? People working, asleep at their desk, terminated. This guy looks pretty chill, to be fair. He looks happy to be at work. He's hopped up on Jojo jo jo Cola. Here's us. And here's someone who worked themselves to death, literally, and no one's noticed. <coughs> Dear Jim, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Fern Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I'm sure we can say hi to Lewis. If he's still alive, that is. Hello, you must be Jim. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. This is Fern Farm. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath all that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. This must be Mayor Lewis. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. <laughs> Don't 
don't listen to her, Jim. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Okie doke, Mayor. Will do. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thanks. I'll do my best, guys. Day one on the farm. First things first, we need to check the TV. Check the fortune. Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, that's not ideal. What's the weather going to be? Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Lovely. And living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. I can do that. And we have got 15 parsnip seeds. Nice. Where are we going to put them? All right. Shall we start clearing up some space over here? And then we can get our parsnips planted and then we can go and check out the town see who's about say hi to some people so we're gonna do our best not to cut down any of this long grass like this uh, in hopes that we can build a silo relatively quickly so that oh, so that we can collect it for any future animals that we acquire Shall we? We've got 15. Okie doke. Four, five. We'll put them right here. Alright, so the best way I've found to water my crops is to stand on the middle one because you have a radius around you of one tile and I just find it to be sort of the most efficient way rather than having to take a step every time you want to water something. Not that there's much difference I suppose but I do feel like I am able to sort of save my energy a little bit. I don't end up misclicking as often. Just a bit smoother, I think. Uh, we need to get some wood so that we can hopefully build a chest. Oh, and some seeds. Nice. That's what we want from the fiber. The mixed seeds that we collect down here. So we need Plant them see what grows and hopefully it's something good that will make us money nice get a touch more wood and then we're probably going to town meet some people uh i'd like to buy a few more seeds if we can uh crafting and let's craft a chest 50 wood nice what we're going to do is chuck that right there and then we can put in our fiber stone wood and our mixed seeds and we will come back and plant those after we've been into town so we have two sort of quests first of all introductions it would be nice gesture to introduce yourself around town some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer two out of 28 people greeted so we've got quite a few more people to greet and getting started if you want to become a farmer you have to start with the basics use your hoe to till the soil then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop 
water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. We are on it. We have started that process. Okay, let's collect some forage. See what we can find. Have a look around. All right, we can go down here, down this little secret pathway. But there's nothing down here for us today. Uh, so certain things might look a little bit different than the traditional Stardew Valley. And that is because we have got some visual mods on. It's nothing game changing, nothing that alters anything. It is purely visual. Uh, it changes the borders around things, uh, the look of the buildings and sort of the, the bus, things like that. Um, it also alters the artifact spots. So normally you would get little worms wiggling in the ground. Uh, with these mods, they look like little red flowers, which I personally find a bit easier to see, um, which is nice. All right, first time in town. Thank you, Doke. Here's some more fiber. Oh, who's that? We're going to try and harvest all the fiber we can find. Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Nice. Hi. Uh, yeah, we're going to try and uh, sort of collect all the fiber we can um, so that we can get as many mixed seeds as we can for free. All right. What is this? A calendar. Okie doke. All right. So it's Monday, the first of spring, year one right now. On a week, it is Mayor Lewis's birthday. And we have a few days, two weeks-ish, until the egg festival. Which we need to sort of earn as much money as we can before then. Who is this? This is Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, you must be Jim, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello, nice to meet you. And who are you? No, don't run away. Oh, that's right. I heard someone you was moving on to that old farm. Thanks, Abigail. Real nice lady. What can we buy from you, Pierre? We've got 500 gold, which isn't much. We've also got no space already. <laughs> so one of them. Not bad. Uh, let's buy some. What else have we got? Stuff we can't afford down the bottom. We need a bean. We need cauliflower, but let's get some extra parsnips. You know what? We're gonna. Ooh, shortly we'll find more. I'm gonna sell that as well. Let's get five potatoes. Cauliflower takes 12 days, so we sort of want to do that as quick as we can, really, to give it the time it needs to grow. All right, who else have we got? Who are you? Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. Hello, Evelyn. You can call me Granny if you like. I might. We'll see. This guy reminds me of a Mario character. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's just his face. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Banging mustache, Gus. Big fan. Big fan of your work, pal. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Um, I have 10 gold. Absolutely not. No, I am too poor for you. All right. Who else have we got? Hello? Hmph, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Okie dokie. Catch you later, pal. Someone washing the dishes here. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Nice to meet you. It's been nice. Sorry for breaking into your home um, the first time I meet you, but sometimes... It just has to happen. Let's head down here and see what we've got going on. Oh, maybe that was pointless because I've got no inventory space. But is there anyone down here for us to meet? 
gone fishing. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, Dick. I will come visit tomorrow? Maybe? Oh, hello. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Bye. Alright, I think we should start making our way back home so we can uh, plant the crops we've got. Oh, there's more fiber just there. Who are you? Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okie doke, Emily. Will do. But first, I'm going to weed your garden, which I know is probably weird, but I'm doing it. Anyone home? Nope. Okie doke. Let's head back home so that we can... Oh god, there's so many people out now. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi. Who are you? Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Um... Yeah. Okay. I've spoken to you. Alright, let's go home and get these crops planted. And maybe do a little bit more tidying up around the farm. Her energy is quite low already. So we'll see what we can get done today. Oh, we need to collect... Uh, collect these, put that away, those away. Cool. How many seeds have we got? 10, 13, 14. Oh man, I think this grass is going to have to go. Surely we've got more elsewhere. If not, it will grow back soonish, maybe. Hopefully. Oh, actually, I might might plant my bean over here just because they're kind of annoying uh, in that you can't walk through them. Okay, let's put these bad boys in the middle. Our potatoes and our cauliflowers. Oof, our energy is getting very low. Do we do we risk it? Twelve. 10, okay, 8, 6, oh, I think one more and we're done, um, again, I think we're gonna find more, we'll go forage after this maybe, it's getting late, but I think it's okay, perfect, alright, let's make a move on, oh, oh, so using the scythe, oh nice, more seeds. Using the scythe doesn't cost us any energy. So it's quite nice that we can still do a bit of tidying up, a bit of productivity in the evening, you know, without worrying that we're going to pass out anywhere. Uh, uh, hopefully the game sounds are okay. I will check it when I'm recording. And if it's horrible, I guess... I'll have to re-record it. So hopefully it's fine. <laughs> well, fine enough for the first one. And then we can, you know, edit and see from there, really. Okay. Nice. nice. All right. So this one's kind of cool. So we've got a big space down here. Um, yeah, I'm just sort of thinking about how to lay the farm out. I'm not really sure yet, to be honest. What to do up here? It's an interesting little space. All right, it comes down here. We've got a nice river. Hopefully we can fish in it. Oftentimes the sort of ponds or watering holes and stuff on your farm are 99.9% .9 likely to just give you trash. I think in my other playthroughs that I've done um, sort of by myself, 
I've never ever caught a fish out of a pond on a normal farm. So hopefully the river is a bit different. Um, we can see. We can see what we can catch on the farm. Oh, here is our quarry down here. Okay. Nice. We've got seven more mixed seeds. Yeah. So normally, like, your farms have, like, one of these little ponds over here. Um, and you can't... I mean, maybe you can, but I've never caught fish in it. Only trash. Um, good for crab pots, though, when you get those at a later stage. But, um, yeah, we'll see, I guess. We'll see what the river holds for us. Ooh, we've got lots of little red flowers here hiding in the dark. Got one here. Three mixed seeds from that. Nice. Ooh, that energy's getting low again. Okie doke. Let's make a mosey. Get home, get to bed. And let's see what tomorrow holds for us. If we can find our way home. Ooh, not that way. Nice. There is quite a lot of room on this farm, to be fair. Um, but yeah, interesting layout. We'll see what we can do with it. First things first. Let's drop everything off in the chest. I'll keep those on me. Nice. Alrighty, let's get into bed. The weather said it was going to be sunny tomorrow, I think. Um, which means we will have to water our crops. Weather report. Welcome to Cozy 5. Weather cost for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day. Lovely. And a fortune. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are in good humour today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Nice. Oh, we got some mail in our little mailbox. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Unfortunately, I think it's going to cost us a little bit more than the 10 gold we have, so that might have to get put on the back burner for a little bit. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willy, I will. New journal. Visit the beach south of town before 5pm. Cool, we can do that. First things first, though, let's water all of our plants. Nice. We might plant the... 11 seeds that we got as well nice cool let's get these planted and watered nice looks like we got two potatoes three potatoes in here i'm not sure what the other ones are we'll find out i suppose all right nice now let's chuck some stuff that we won't be needing with us in the chest so we'll put the watering can away unlikely we'll need that we'll keep the axe the hoe and the scythe on us in case we find anything interesting all right let's make our way back into town we'll recheck up here for any forage that's come back considering i think we ate half of it and sold the other half yesterday <laughs> Hello? What? What do you want? Go away. Alright, Shane, relax, my guy. Just saying hi. Alright, off to the beach. Let's see what we find. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved me enough to buy me a new rod. Nice. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. 
I can promise you, Willie, that I will be buying many things from you. Don't you worry. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Hehe, <laughs> that's what my old puppy used to say. Nice. Cool. Shall we try our hand in some fishing then? There's some bubbles over there. Let's head for that. Hopefully it's not gone by the time we get here. Nice. All right. Absolutely not. Kind of. Nice easy one for the start. Kind of. Ooh. A sunfish. Nice. Alright, let's get this guy. The more fish we can catch, the more money we can make, the more crops we can harvest. Nice. Seaweed. Perfect. Just what we've been looking for. Halibut. New record. 17 inches. Nice. A herring. Lovely. Nice. This is my favourite spot to fish. Right here next to this rock. I don't know if it does anything special or means anything. But. I like it here. More seaweed. Nice. Find out what our treasure is. An anchovy. Okie doke. Oh man. Okay. Um, we've got two of you. You can go. And mixed seeds are probably more useful to us than seaweed is at this point. So let's do that. Oh no. Anchovy. That one we've got is better. Um, get ready. Sorry, buddy. Fished out of your home. Realized you weren't needed and chucked straight in the trash. Who are you? Hello? Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think you're going to get along great. I'm Alex. You are giving me a real creepy face, Alex. I'm not vibing with it. Uh, we could also plant those two seeds really quick. I will keep you, one of you, 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 and you. Uh, so we've definitely kept one of each. We'll sell those. There's my watering can. Oh man. Gonna have to fill up the can for one or two seeds. Ah, damn. I'm excited to clear the farm so I can have a clear pathway to the water. Or maybe we could build a well. Somewhere close by. Up here somewhere. Maybe over here? This would be a nice place for a well. Then we can get water nice and easy for the crops. Okay, let's chuck those back. Keep that. Yeah. Okay. Can we find a pathway to get out the bottom of our farm? That is the next question. One I'm honestly not that sure about. Not that way, that's for sure. Nice, we made it. Little frog. Bye, buddy. Okay, okay what have we got down here? Down here. Oh, cow butts. Nice. Okay. There's no one here for us to talk to. Okay. What about over here? It's locked. Only Leia's friends can enter uninvited. Okie doke. Got more water down here. Can do some fishing. Tons of fibre here, which means hopefully more seeds. Got one of our little dancing flowers here. Stone. Okay, not that exciting, but 
at this point in the game, I'll take it. Okay, I can't get in there yet. In there yet. Two horseradishes right next to each other. Nice. Hello? Who are you? Hello, neighbor. Hi. Okay, let's go in here and say hi to whoever's in here. Never mind. It's locked. You can hear someone inside, though. Rude. Ooh, another... What's that one? Is that one the dandelion? Yes. Nice. Something that might be fixed later? Oh, it's horseradish day by the looks of it. That's all we're finding. we're finding. Someone's little house down here. It looks abandoned. Okay. Alright. I see some forage over there. I'm just looking for any stuff that I can scythe. Oh, one down here as well. Nice. Another dandelion. I saw a horseradish up here. And some spring onions. Nice. Nice early game food. Because they're not needed for anything. I suppose you could sell them. Um, but I think I'll keep them to eat. And by doing this, we're getting rid of the fiber. Which means we're collecting the fiber that we're slashing up. Which is nice, because we need that for things. We might get seeds, and it creates extra space for forage to spawn. So it's quite nice. Three for one. Oh, a bone flute. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. All right, well, I will take it to him tomorrow. Because oh. I think he's probably closed right now. All right, let's head back up the farm. We'll do a little bit more tidying up as we go. Hey, I feel like we've got a lot done today. We've spoken to some people, we've got our fishing rod, we've done some fishing, we've done some foraging, we have cleaned up a little bit. It's been quite productive. Oh, something's there blocking me. Oh, there's another flower up there. Uh, let's go see what's in it. Uh, coal? Um, I'm just going to leave you on the floor for right now. I'll pick you up later. Alright, we're going to cut down these little logs. Ooh. Not for much longer, that's for sure. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run around and hold my scythe. We can still do some scything, because as I said, it doesn't take up any energy. That's also good, because if you accidentally misclick, you're not going to end up exhausted. Uh, you can just misclick with your scythe and it doesn't cause any issues which is nice because I have one too many times misclicked and used my fishing rod or my watering can or something like that and basically end up exhausted from it which is not ideal and then it takes me 11 years to walk home because I'm so sluggish all right let's head to sleep for the night I guess Nice, level one fishing, fishing rod proficiency, and level one foraging, one axe proficiency, trees sometimes drop seeds, we've got a new crafting recipe for wild seeds, and we've got a new crafting recipe for a field snack, nice, uh, and 130 gold from our fish that we sold, which is not great, but it's not the worst, oh it's raining today, nice, let's check our luck. Ah, yes. I can hear the spirits whispering. The spirits are in good humour today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Nice. And what's the weather going to be tomorrow? It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Cool. No problems. No! Oh, man. We lost a crop. So, today we need to visit Gunther at the museum. Donate that bone flute to him. We'll plant these two. Um, 
one there. Why that crow just stole our crop. One here. Cool. And they are watered by the rain, which is nice. So we save a lot of energy today. Uh, we'll take that with us. And I think the rest can stay there for now. Do our little routine, walk up and around, look for any forage. Maybe meet some more people today. How many more people have we got left to meet? 11. Not too bad. Right. 7 in the morning, so it's quite early still. Let's go have a look up here. Some forage. Some more fiber. Maybe get some more seeds. Oh, I didn't bring my pick. Dang. Alright, what's in here? It's locked. Okie doke. More forage, another daffodil. Nice. Alright, who is up here? It's locked open 9 to 8. Okay, not too much longer. Uh, this little pathway leads back to the farm, but usually there's some forage on it, so it's nice to check, but I don't think there's any today. What a shame. Mm, we can't go up there. Is anyone in here? Hello? Nice. A stranger? Hello. Hi, Linus. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Okie doke. Nice. Chill on with nature. Love that for you. Uh, what is over here? I can hear someone making noise. Okay, so we can't get through here just yet. Oh, Linus just came out of his tent. Where's he off to? Uh, to have a wee behind the bush, I think. Fair enough. Alright, it is 9.50, so we should be able to go in and say hi to these people. Ah, this is Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. You know what, Robin? It actually is. Thank you for understanding. What can I do for you, shop? What have you got? Some furniture. Um, I don't have any money right now, Robin, so... Thanks, but no thanks. Farm buildings, what have we got? Okay. Oh, a well would be nice. A thousand gold and 75 stone. We're a lot of gold away from that. A silo, though. Stone, clay, and copper. Okay. Only a hundred gold, though. It's not too bad. Greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. We're insulated from the rest of the world here in Stardew Valley. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Who's down here? You're not good enough friends with Sebastian to enter his bedroom. He's awake. He's in bed. Look at him. Oh, he's up. Hello? <gasps> Is he coming out? He heard me. Huh. Don't look like a creep. Hello? Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Out of the way, pal. Ooh. There, was there was someone else in there, but she is in a bedroom and we are not friends, so I assume I cannot go and see her. Ooh. Ooh. We could do some fishing in this river here. Let's see what we got. I've got to remember to go to the museum at some point. Ooh. -y. Okay, fishy. I'm not good enough for fishing for this, pal. And I want to catch it. Oh, no. We lost a treasure. We want to save up and get that new fishing rod as soon as possible. Or we'll get our fishing level up, I suppose. Both. Both. Smallmouth bass. Nice. I think me and this guy are friends. Sebastian, hello? I really feel like he's stalking me. Oh, now he's mad. Sorry. Sorry I bought the path. That's my bad. Nice. A rice shoot and some bait. We can't use... Ooh. Okay. We can't use the bait right now on this fishing rod. We need to upgrade that first. So we'll keep that in a chest for later. 
It will be useful, just not right now. Now. Oh, man. Okay. Rash shoots. Rubbish. Oh, accidentally threw the rubbish in the ocean. That is my bad. Um, and to be honest, we can't use copper yet, so let's get rid of it. Uh, not copper. Bait. Alright, let's go donate this thing. I'll give us at least one more slot of inventory. Check some trash cans, see what we can find. Not that we can pick anything up if we find it. Right, who's, right, who's this in here? Oh, there's a flower up there. We'll have to remember that when we come out. Hello? Uh, hi. I'm Clint. Hello? I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Cool, thanks. thanks. Let's try and get this, see what it is. Ah, oh, we need that. Alright, let's chuck this just on the ground. We'll come and get that in a minute. Okay. Do, do, do. Gunther, abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Alright, Gunther, relax. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail. But it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favour to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Sounds good, pal. I'll work on it. Thank you, Nick. Let's talk to Gunther. Donate to the museum. Okay, we've got a flute. Let's put that here. And a spoon. Mm, here. Nice. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Okie dokie. First things first, I'm going to trek your trash bin. Let's go pick up our horseradish that we threw on the ground. Nice. nice. Let's see what else we can find. We've got another inventory space so we can do a little bit more fishing maybe. Oh, should we try fishing on the farm? Let's do that. Check these people's trash cans and then we'll head home, drop some stuff off and then we'll try fishing in the river at home and see what we can catch, if anything. Oh, nice. So we got the Gunther asked if you'd consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you find to the museum. He says he'll compensate you by way of occasional rare goods. And we donated the bone flute and the spoon. And we get 250 gold. Nice. All right. Good start. Good start. Let's get back home. Let's drop some stuff off in a chest. Okay. So now we just need a leak that we ate. Small mouth bass, you. Yeah. Okay. We can sell it, you. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we can catch in our own little river on the farm. Hopefully, some fish. Driftwood, okay. So it's feeling a lot like all we're gonna get is trash. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, okay, yeah. No, we're not catching this one. But at least it's a fish. That tells us that we can catch fish here. Not that one, but we can catch others. Oh, probably not this one either. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no. This isn't going well. Can we have an easy fish? Broken CD. Happy little fish. A bream. Nice. And a new achievement. Fisherman. What does that mean? Catch 10 different fish. Nice. Ooh, a chub. Nice. And 
some more bait which we will chuck on the floor and some s oh I don't know why I did that I'd rather keep the bait than this trash right now nice nice shad okay I'm not sure how much any of these fish are worth if there's one that I should be looking for more than the others um, in terms of what they sell for but at the moment, I think it's important that we collect one of everything. Another chub, new record, 13 inches, okay. Another shad, nice. And more bait, okay. I mean, we can't use it yet, but it is setting us up quite well for when we get our new fishing rod, so... I'm not mad at it. A bream, nice. Okay, let's quickly chop down some trees, use up the last of our energy before we go to bed. Okay, no, no, what have we got? No, we'll chop that. We'll pick up the sap instead. It's an acorn there. What should we get rid of? That? Yep. No. And it's getting late. Okie doke. Let's head back here. Have we got one of these? We do. Have we got bream yet? No. Have we got a chub yet? No. Okay, nice. And the rest we can add to our chest. And we'll sell the rest of the fish. fish. And we will head to bed. Nice. We have leveled up fishing to level two. So we get uh, the recipe for bait, which is good. And let's see how much we made. 310 from those fish which is okay it's not much but it's enough i think okie doke i think i am going to leave this first episode here start of day four uh i think so far we're doing pretty good we've got quite a lot of crops on the go oh and here's clint we'll save that for tomorrow we've got quite a lot of crops on the go we've got some mail we've got clint here Think lots of things to do in the next episode by the look of it so we'll leave it there thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one have a good day